What's up, what's up, Milwaukee and the world? Welcome to another episode of Saved and the City on 101.3 FM with your girl, Iveria. If you are, uh, if you if you can't listen live or if you're listening on the radio and you want to know other ways to listen, you can actually listen to us right online at www.ikjjradio.org. Be sure to like me on Facebook at Saved and the City. Join my group on Facebook to stay connected. Just search Saved and the City Radio Show. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. Yes, I'm everywhere you want to be. And if, you're li if you like what you're hearing, spread the word to your friends and family to tune in. I can absolutely use your support. I got a website now. It's still in the works, but it's up. <laughs> so you guys can visit www.savedandthecitymke.com and you can learn more about how you can support Saved in the City and also catch some past shows and, and that type of stuff. So should be good. Should be good. Happy New Year to you guys. Oh my God. It's 2017 already. Can you believe it? I, I'm, I'm literally like, really? Really? Okay. Okay. I accept it. I accept it. <laughs> and so I don't know what you guys did for your New Year's, but I hope you had an amazing time with your friends and with your family. I know for me, I ended up, I planned on going to church. <sighs> I literally slept through to like 1030 p.m. And I was like, oh, our church is over. Because <laughs> Pastor Melbourne did like a 7, 6, to 9 service or something like that. I was like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. I had all kinds of plans. That's how the Lord will do you. You will have all kinds of plans. And then he'll say, no, sit still. Be still. Go home. Go to sleep. <laughs> so that's what's going on. But it, it's a new year, which means there's new opportunity to get things right, to try again, to get your resolutions together. So we're going to be talking about finding your purpose, purpose reveal, all kind of stuff a little bit later on today. But before we get on to, to that, I definitely have to give a shout out to Bobby Drake. Oh my God, the living room tour. I actually hosted one of those tours in my house. Um, and it's literally that. It's not just a, a, a cool name. He literally brings an entire show show to your living room so you can book the living room tour uh, if you have something you want to you know do for your birthday or if you just want to invite friends over something different um just go ahead on facebook and look up living room tour or look up bobby drake and you'll be able to stay connected to that i'm actually wearing a t-shirt right now you guys can't really see it on facebook because it's a little dark but it says never say die so that was one of the main topic topics in a uh, carpe diem sees the day so it's really really a great experience so shout out to bobby drake drake in the living room tour i definitely have to have you back again again um also shout out to mr anderson right next to us at past the peas on the corner of 78th and appleton he has 50 cent wing drummies each and every wednesday so make sure you give him a call seven days a week 11 30 a.m to 7 p.m but if you want those drummies call him today 414-393-0992 like their facebook um like, like um yes like their facebook for weekly and seasonal specials visit www.pastapease.us to learn more shout out to luminosity enterprises for all your marketing support for power for media ce task kind of styles um thank you girl this i'm telling you this style that i've been having in my head has lasted over a month I, I love you, girl. So if you guys want a, want an amazing beautician that's from Atlanta to Milwaukee, make sure you follow her on Instagram. She, uh, she has all of her contact information and her travel dates right there. Shout out to Task Kind of Styles. I know you're in the city right now. Shout out to D. Rose for engineering the show and to Mike McGee and Amari for uh, being the owners of this great show. And I mean, of this great network and this great uh, radio platform. I couldn't be here without you guys. So I really definitely appreciate you. Now... For the topic at hand, I'm so excited that I'm not in the studio alone. I don't want, you know, we do things, you don't always want to do things by yourself. So I'm I'm so blessed to have so many amazing friends. Literally, every show that has been um, booked is not, you know, me searching for people. It's like, let me go down my amazing friend list and say, you know, who, you know, who can uh, share a word with the people that'll, that'll really get, you know, get, get you thinking, um, open your mind and can I help, help you, you know, because that's what it's about. We, we already know the premise of the show, Saving the City is Kingdom Solutions to Real World Issues. So today we want to talk about Purpose Revealed and I have Miss Anita Clinton in the studio with me. Anita, how are you feeling this morning? I am feeling well. Come on now. Yes. Website. Got yes. A website, girl. yes, accountability <laughs> partner. I got a website. It's amazing too. Like we're still, you know, putting a few other uh, you know, things in there, filling up the gallery, getting the store together, but it's it's there. I'm gonna check it out. I'm, I'm real. Check it out. That means you're real. It. When you get a website, you're real. Right, Come on, purpose reveal. 
<laughs> yes. So, so Anita is so amazing. And I can sit here and just give her a million and five acc accolades. But why don't you start by just telling the people a little bit about yourself and, and what you do. So my name is Anita Clinton. And, um, you know, I do a lot of things. But at the end of the day, my focus is purpose. Um, I know why I exist, the reason I exist, and my entire purpose for being here is to help people connect to their purpose. Yes. There's a reason that we all were created, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm intentional about helping people figure out what that is and stepping and walking into that thing. I love it. I love it. And how, how do you do that? And I mean, well, even before we kind of get into that, how you do it, but you'd be surprised, you know, because when I talked to you, I think it was on the phone the other day. Um, or I think it might, might have been yesterday, and you, you said that, you know, purpose, he was like, oh, I can talk about that in my sleep. I know how to do it. But you'd be surprised at how many people have no clue what they're here for. Yeah, you know, it, and, and it's interesting that you say that, because I think that instinctively we all know what we yeah, were created that's to good. do. That's we're good. constantly that's good. being drawn to that thing. Mm -hmm. I think what people get caught up is how do we do it? Yeah. How do I do this thing? How do I make this reality? How do I make this happen? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I think that's a part of it. I think the other part of it is could that really be me? Because we really deal with so much negativity in the world. Mm -hmm. And so when we're younger, we believe we can be anything. That, like you said, you know, we know it's something, whether it's we want to play the drums or we want to be a doctor when we're little. I was watching some little commercial and it was this little girl who said she's going to be a surgeon. And honey, she was sewing these chickens together and all her mama saw was the salmonella. But in her mind, she was a surgeon and that was a part of the process. But at some point, we get dropped. Yep. So, you know, yeah. I like to say all the time that the person that I am now, I recognized her when I was like three or four. Wow. Because she was there. And circumstances in my life transformed who I was, who yeah. I was called to be. And yeah. I had to get back to that thing. But you're right. You know, I have a friend who has a kid, and this is an amazing kid. But for the first four years of his life, she said, I never told him no. Because I didn't want to get ingrained in him that he can't do something or that he can't wow. have something. And so right now, that kid, I, they want to put him two grades ahead because wow. he is brilliant. Like, the way that he thinks is like none other. And yeah. I think we get told no so many times or we get stopped from doing this or barriers come up that we're not encouraged to do anything anymore. Mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. don't think, like you said, that we can do it. Yeah. And your purpose is so much bigger than you. Right. You can't do it by yourself yeah, anyway. Yeah, when you understand that. <laughs> and you, yeah, right, right, right. When you understand that you can't carry it alone, then, you know, then you, you, know, you understand you have to tap into something else. So let's talk about that process. You know, you said, you know, you, you knew from a little girl that this is who you would be or you, you know, you would be becoming. But there were there were some some detours along the way. Absolutely. How did you find your way back? So I played basketball most of my life. Okay. And I went to college playing basketball. Got a full ride scholarship. It afforded me opportunities that most people my age that look like me couldn't have had. Yeah. And so as a result of that, I wrapped my personal identity inside of what I did as yeah. an athlete. And I think that we do that so many times. We don't recognize who we really are, but we we tap onto and link to what we do and that becomes our identity and so for me when i blew my knee I so then if you don't do anything then that's who you are that's in your you mind are. wow absolutely okay. yep so you blew your knee out i blew my knee out and i could no longer play basketball so i had to have Ooh. reconstructive surgery and for me basketball was my life that's what i knew that's who i was and i decided my life was no longer worth living and so I had had knee surgery, reconstructive surgery. I had a cocktail of medicine that they have given me to, ma to manage the pain. Wow. I decided I'm going to take all these pills. I said apologetic prayer to God, and I laid down with the hopes of not waking up. Jesus. Four hours later, I woke up, and I'm like, okay, why am I here? Mm. God, why did you save me? Because with what I took, there's no reason why I should, should be here, should be Jesus, here today. Jesus, and Jesus. so that began my journey to figuring out why am I here? Why did you save me? What's the reason for mm -hmm. my existence? Mm -hmm. Because I thought it was to play basketball. Mm -hmm. But apparently that wasn't it. Mm -hmm. And so I needed to find out what that was. And this has been a 20-year journey. Wow. But I got it. And so since I got it, my whole purpose, as I said, is to help people figure out they don't have to go 20 years. I yeah. did the 20-year journey. Yeah. Learn from my experiences. Learn from um, the expertise that I have inside of helping people discover what it is that God has called and created them to do. Oh, my God. So talk about, see, here's, here's another piece that, um, and you kind of mentioned it earlier. So um, 
at some point we have to realize that we can't do it all on our own. Absolutely. So let's talk about accountability. Let's talk about the people that surround you and how that can influence your your direction as, as it pertains to destiny and purpose. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and replace uh, can with will. Come on for the will. <laughs> It of the will Lord. influence you. You know, we have to be careful with the people that we surround ourselves with. Wow. So what's being spoken into our lives? What are people saying? What What is your audience, that group of people? What are they talking about? Are they yeah. talking about things that matter? Are they encouraging you? Or when you tell them you're going to do something that seems to be just way out there, they're like, girl, please, you can't do that. Yeah. Like, you don't need people around like that. Mm -hmm. You need people to say, yes, you can do that. And how can I help you? Right. And so this is a great year. To begin that, you it know, is. so as people are, are stepping into 2017, what are some tips? What are, I mean, we're going to get a little deeper into it, like, a, you know, a little bit later on in the show, too. But what are some tips um, that they can use to, to begin that process? Yeah. Cleaning out and discovering who they are. Yep. I would <laughs> say start with the discovery process. Mm -hmm. So start thinking about, you know, there's three things that I think about when I think about discovering your purpose. Yeah. And that number one is what are you passionate about? Yeah. What's the thing that you would do whether you got paid to do it or That's not? Good. Every time you do it, there's a level of excitement that mm -hmm. comes from doing that thing. And then number two is do you have the skill set to effortlessly do whatever that thing is. Yeah. So if you if singing is your thing, can you sing? Uh, can you hold a ma note? Ma'am and sir. <laughs> Let's just start right there. And if you <laughs> can, then let it in. But that's it. See, and that's, what, that's where your accountability is necessary because a lot of people around are around folks who will be like, yeah, sing, baby. You, we no, got to be honest and mess. truthful. <laughs> Reveal. <laughs> Absolutely. And then the, thing, the third thing and a very important thing is your purpose has nothing to do with you. It is for the benefit of other people. We are here Ooh. to serve people. We have been given skills and talents for the benefit of making life better for other people. Oh my God. That's so huge. And, and it just kind of also taps into the other point that I was thinking that you guys need to kind of grasp onto is seeing where there, where is the need? You know, sometimes finding your purpose is in when you look around and you say, okay, what's lacking? If it's not lacking in you, what's lacking in the organization that you're a part of? Because a lot of times you're in tune to things that other people may not be in tune to. If, if the, like we were talking about singing, so let's stick on the singers. <laughs> <laughs> if you're sitting back and the, the tune of the lead vocalist, you know, in the church is driving you insane Maybe it's your calling to be a part of that choir to get them together. You yeah. know what I mean? Absolutely. And typically our purpose is that thing that annoys the heck out of us. Yes. It's that thing that we're passionate about. It's so funny. I was talking to a friend the other day and, you know, I'm a little antisocial, a lot antisocial. And um, I'm not <laughs> as emotional. And so we had a friend that's going through something. And I was just like, man. Right. I remember no. I cried. I cried in Anita's car. <laughs> and she was so uncomfortable. <laughs> And I didn't care because I was like, I need to get it out. And I was, I'm very emotional. And so I love her. I love her. She was like, fix it here. Right. I'm, I'm like, how can we fix this? Look, <laughs> what can I do? Girl, let me do this. I got you. Right. Like, please just stop crying. Right. Please she's she's concerned. I don't want to say that she, she's not, that she's not concerned, but her, you know, her response is like, okay, fix it. What do you need? Here. <laughs> Tissue. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, but when it comes to seeing somebody that's struggling because they don't know what to do or they can't afford to feed their families. Like that stuff right there gets to me because I know that there is something inside of that purpose. You know, God said, for I know the plans that I have for Come you. On plans in here. to prosper you. There is prosperity inside of what he has called and created you to do. So when I see that, now that right there just just touches me. And I know, I know yes. that I'm doing what I'm called to do. You better preach it. I love it. I love it. And I know. That she's doing what she's called to do. So we're one minute. We got about one minute left. So guys, you know exactly what that time is. It is time for the word of challenge. So if you guys have a scripture um, as it pertains to purpose, as it pertains to destiny, as it, to as it pertains to finding out who you are and whose you are in Christ, post it right here on the Facebook Live and you will win a magnificent prize. <laughs> and we'll be right back after this. Let's go, Dave. Awesome sauce. Oh yeah, you better be awesome. Start. It's a good start, good start. It was. I love it. I love the energy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Chad. Good morning. I couldn't talk because I was on the air. Hey, let me get my hat right. 
Let me get this lighting right. So Day Day, this is Oh, I'm about to listen in a minute. But what I need is for you to come over here. So you got to show Afini um, what to do. Daytona Rose. Daytona Rose. Daytona Road. Daytona Road. I need you to come over here. Alright. Okay. Don't you see what I'm saying? Like how she gonna... Okay, uh, Feeny, you can come over to his seat. That's what I'm saying. You gotta show her. You got about a minute. I love Chad. Please meet Connect. I forgot what it was. Huh? Well, I'll reach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you. I love you so much. I'm so glad you made it. So I'll be bringing you up in about five, six minutes. Yes, I was actually in Detroit. I was like, I didn't get a chance to go. I went to a church. I should be going by the next right. song, man. But the next, but when I, but when we in, uh, finish the interview, I'm gonna be like, and we'll go to this. So she needs just that one song after you. Uh, see, that's the problem. Yeah, you have to go here and play. So this is, yeah. Do you have any questions? Yeah. All you gotta do is do. Boom. Anything? 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 So no, my brother is saying, we'll just leave that kind of in the green. So, so when I say questions, I have to explain. So, I'll bring your hands to it. And then we'll have some time to start putting out the green 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 that's what I see, so you got it, girl. 2911. You good? Alright, 10 seconds. Alright, cool. Maybe do we need to turn it a little bit so you can see you a little more? Daytona, push that out a little so they can see you more. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? And we're back. Oh my God, that was Daytona. D Rhodes, Day Day. <laughs> I told him we got a bunch of names, so we got him in the studio today. He's one of the ones who does the uh, the engineering for Saved in the City, so I'm so appreciative to have him in here. There's so many amazing people in Milwaukee who do amazing things and wear so many hats, and so I was like, okay, let's bring him on to, to talk about some of his music. But before we go there, um, I definitely want to give a shout out. I, I think I saw it was Argentina Miller um, who put on there Jeremiah 2911. Shout out to you, girl. You won the word up challenge so i'll hit you up with the um um with the prize because I, I i can't i can't put it out there it's a it's an extra secret <laughs> it's an extra secret dad can you push that a little bit i want them to see you just put it oh, a little okay. bit more there we go there we go oh my god you guys did you enjoy did you love anita clinton i'm telling you she's gonna be back she's gonna be back don't 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 get too sad we're gonna bring her back towards the end of, end of the show to talk a little bit more about revealing your purpose how important is that to know who you are and whose you are but in the meantime in between time we got daytona rose what's up man how what's you feeling going on? what's going on we was talking early i said we said this is gonna be a controversial interview <laughs> Yes, but you know, and I guess you know it's contra It's uh, we can say it's controversial or it's just real. You know what I mean? It's just your life. So why don't you tell the people kind of where you started out in music and where you are today? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go there. I started out in music, twelve years old. Twelve yeah. years old doing music, and uh, I saw that album cover. I was like, "You're a yeah, baby." You're talking yeah. about my first album. You were I'm like two, about, and, it, and it's amazing <laughs> to me. I started at twelve, and people come to me right now with the CD in their hand. Wow, you know. That's impact. Saying that they still bumping me That's from impact. when I was 12 years old, from God or nothing to Let's Ride to hey. Daytona 500. Hey, you know, what you know, just everybody rocking with it. So and so, know. so that's where I mean, and so has it always because beyond the music, you you a hustler, you're oh, an yeah. entrepreneur, uh, you know, extraordinary. You do so many different things. Was it the music that kind of sparked that grind or? Yeah, um, yeah, the music is is my love, is my passion. Yeah. It's, it's more than money to me. Right. You know, 
So, so talk about some of the other things know, that you do. To another level. Yeah, because um, you have peace in the streets. You got, you know, yeah. you engineer here. Just all yeah. this stuff. Yeah, I'm a uh, extra ordinary person, you know. <laughs> um, so I got peace in the streets. Peace in the streets. That started, you know, a lot of crime, a lot of violence be going on in our community and other communities. Right. You know, our first city we hit with peace in the streets. It was Rockford. Okay. And um, Rockford, very crime area. And uh, we came in that area. I seen the lot, an uh, empty lot. You know, vision is where you can see something empty and you can see people there and you can see salvation, you yeah. know. And uh, we went to that lot and we packed it out. Yeah. We packed it out, you know. And uh, it was just God moving in that area on peace in the streets. And it's just a movement. And uh, right. it's just, you know, it's something about a movement that we got to keep going and not just not just Milwaukee, right. you know. I can't just think local. I gotta yeah. think global. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So I'm just taking my level of thinking to the next level and I'm just expanding the you brand. You gotta do it. You gotta do yeah. it. And the other brand that we were very familiar with was um and please correct me if I say it wrong, Young Saved and Fly. Oh yeah, Young Saved and Fly. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, that's yeah. where and, and shout out to your mom's uh, mama say I call her Mama Sandra. You know, because she was one of the originators behind that. So talk about that piece and kind of, you know, the that kind of broke you in the radio, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Young Saved and Fly. When I, I came up, you know, Young Saved and Fly, me, my mother, and um, we broke in. I was the first one in the city to break in the 1560 a.m. Yeah, yeah. With you know, hip with holy hip-hop. Hip and hip that was never done before. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, we look, we, we sitting with a legend. <laughs> I just need y'all to know. <laughs> So, you know, we, we broke 1560 in, you yeah. know, we broke 101.3 in. Right, seriously. You know what I mean? With, with holy hip-hop. Right, right. So, so we're you know. So, here's the controversy. So, this is where we, what we've known you as. We've seen you grow up. We, we knew you from holy hip-hop. But now, you, you, you kind of, I'm not even saying you switch genres. You mix the genres. I mean, uh... <laughs> I, um, now you know I'm, I'm older, you know. Yeah. Grown, and when I look at music, it's it's music to me. Yeah. I okay. love music. Okay. okay. So I just had to be real with myself. You right. Know what I mean? Right. A lot of people go to church and you know they fake like they don't listen to real right. music. Right. Because I saw a photo because you, know? you 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 know you you were with um. Ice T, you doing an interview with him or something coming up pretty soon? Oh yeah, Ice T, that's my boy. You know he. I got with him through Curtis, and Curtis Blow. Blow. You know, the I Curtis got, Blow connection. Yeah, Curtis, how did that? How we go from Young Saint to Fly? And now we like, don't push me. Right. Um, <laughs> so, so Curtis, Curtis is my mentor. Okay. So I want everybody to know that Curtis is my mentor. Curtis is the one that's really behind me. If I need advice. I'm asking Curtis. Yeah. You know, if Curtis tell me, nah, man, man yeah. I don't mess with it. And I ain't right. messing with it. Right. You know, that's me and Curtis, we got a bond. It's more of a father and son. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm his, you could call me his offspring. The new <laughs> new album I'm writing right now called The Son of Curtis Blow. It's coming wow. soon. Wow. You know? So, and so that genre is going to be just uh, regular hip hop, right? Um, or, I don't know. Do you say regular hip hop? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's regular hip hop. I'm so not cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a mix of everything, you know. Okay, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, my I told message. him, look, I told him because I be feeling like mama with that day. I was like, you have to pick a side, brother. <laughs> but right now, we're going to let him explore and figure out what he wants. Because I love I love your grind. If nothing else, I do see you. I see you out there doing your thing. So, but we're going to take a listen to some of your um, some of your older music, I guess. Some of the, tell me what we're going to listen to. We're going to do this right here with Curtis Blow. Get it out featuring Curtis Blow. Oh, That's we're not we're doing any do. holy hip hop. We're doing Curtis Blow. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm mad at you for putting the curtain blow on. Oh my god, Feeny, yeah. yeah. you're awesome, honey. That was <laughs> just that. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll actually um have to uh have a quick little meeting um after this dinner, Feeny. About some things in a good way. You guys like that? Okay, Chad, you can come over. So we'll be back in a little bit. Hang with us, guys. All right. We are live. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so scoot up a little. I can't wait to have Shakes back, even though he thinks he's not coming back. But your mind shakes. That's good. Oh, that's better. Thank you, Pete. There we go. 
Let me get this hat together. So I'm not trying to look like a cowboy. I have to be positioned. I'm trying to look like a little, uh, what do you call those? Hipster. Okay. Um, so basically when I come in, I'm doing something called church announcements. Okay. So I'll be reading through. So, you know, you just kind of sit tight and then when I introduce you, we'll start talking about um, Abacus Architects and all Abacus. the amazing... Abacus. Abacus. Thank you. Get my life. <laughs> and is it Welsnick? Welswick? Welswick. I don't know where the end came from, but I know there's no end in there. Yeah, fill it, chat. <laughs> um, let's see here. Welswick and Abacus. That's all you need to know. Welswick and Abacus. Abacus Architects. Um, oh, he's still talking about you. Yeah, you can. It's just very loud in there, but you're, you're good. Oh, the young man's name was uh, Daytona Rose. I'll make sure that I share his information. Yeah, where can they where can they find you, Day? Like music, mm -hmm. they could uh, find it on iTunes. Just tell them type in Young D Rose. You know, I done changed my name. Really. Yeah, I'll tell you a million names. <laughs> Young D Rose, not D Rose, not Day Day, not Daytona Rose. <laughs> Young D Rose. Search for him, Google him. He here. Get it out. She said he brought me back with the ultra style, style with a twist. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Feeny? Oh, we good. This is her right now. You can let it be a little bit. We right on time. <laughs> What's up, Kevin? Kevin, I can't wait to have you on the show. Congratulations on your marriage, sweetie. Yeah, Young D. Rhodes. Yep, you got it. She got it. Yeah, Tell her Young Y U N G. I think she did it. She, she, she got, got the U right. in there. I think. I can't really see. Yeah, I need glasses. Yeah. Somebody want to bless with some gas? Yeah, it's there. It work. I can't see. I can't see far. Dang, Chad, we go back to prepaid yes, legal we days. Do. Back in the day. <laughs> Still connected. Still doing it. I know, I know. And the best is yet to come. Come on in here. <laughs> Oh, man. So That's what I'm saying. I literally be going down my friend's like, oh, I ain't talking to Chad in forever. It's so blessed. I'm like, I got From Lecrae, friends. you know, we haven't seen each other. From Lecrae, and now here there. Okay, One, two, three, let's go. What's up, what's up, what's up? Yo, that was D. Rhodes. Young D. Rhodes, <laughs> featuring Curtis Blow, act like you know up in here. Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. I really love to see young people doing, doing, doing amazing things. You know, we could, we could report so many different um, outcomes, but to say that he's hustling, he got his music, he's going to be having his own radio station if it's not already in existence, please know that it is definitely happening out there. So shout out to Daytona. Thank you so much for, for your contributions to the city. You know what time it is. It's time for church announcements. Yay! I need like an applause or something. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it in, in the background pretty soon and, and out some organ music. That's what I hear before I open the church announcements. <laughs> All right, so what's going on? What's going on in our world this weekend? So on Saturday, this Saturday, now this is something that's, Obama. Obama's going to be in Chicago. And um, he's doing his farewell speech. And I was like, man, I want to be there. But you got to go this Saturday to pick up tickets. And I'm like, I don't know if I can drive to Chicago just to pick up the tickets. Because I think the event is really not to the following week. But you got to get, and they're only giving out one ticket per person. But if you're in the Chicago area or if you feel like this is historic enough that you want to make that trek, Head out to um, Chicago um, on Saturday at noon, or be there by noon, at McCormick Place. And this is for Obama's farewell speech, and you can get your free tickets, and then you can come back. So if you're looking to do something and um, historic, you definitely want to do that. Also, there are so many amazing 
movies um, that are in the movie theater right now. And so um, I actually recently went to go see Fences, which was really good. And I was sharing with people. I, I do these reviews. So if you follow me on Facebook, you can see my, my hilarious <laughs> um, movie reviews. Um, but I, I saw Fences. It really was a good movie. It's a lot of dialogue in there. Um, so you got to be prepared for that. And it's pretty much one scene. So you, if, if you have cabin fever, you know, <laughs> you may not want to go see it. But it, it really is a, a it has a lot of um it's a lot of depth to it so definitely go and check that out in the movie the other one i would recommend this weekend is hidden figures i believe it's opening this weekend so there's a lot of people that are planning group outings i know the alternative is one of them that's planning a group outing there's another one but it's for a birthday so i ain't trying to invite you to somebody else's birthday <laughs> but the alternative is doing the hidden figures outing and that's this friday at 9 40 p.m at the amc movie theater so you know if you're looking for something fun to do to connect and and network with some people and just enjoy a good movie make sure that you come out on friday buy your ticket we're at the top of the new year. It's it's 2017, and so there's a lot of people who are doing vision board parties, and this is a, a great time to plan. We're at the top of the year, so this is actually a vision board event that I went to last year, so I definitely approve it. It is stamped uh, uh, for approval by Save in the City and by Iberia. So it's called Bloom Into 2017, and it's $30 to attend, and it's this Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., at 510 East Burleigh Avenue. And if you want to purchase tickets, you can just go to www.schedulicity.com. Schedule City? I didn't want to say it because I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but I'll make sure I post it in the group. Also, if you're looking for an alternative kind of vision board party, then New Hope is actually doing one, and it's for ladies only and it's vision for your life and, and their fee which is $25 actually includes food and that's Saturday so maybe you want to do two vision board parties start your vision board at the first one and then finish it at the second one where you can get some food and that's on Saturday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and it's going to be held at 7113 West Capitol Drive. Also, the voice of many is doing a casting call on January 7th. For, so just keep that in mind. There was no location on the event. So you guys need to get me that location so that I can share it. But um, they are uh, doing a play. It's called Making of a Modern Day Slave. And they're doing a casting call. They're looking for actors, singers, dancers, and spoken word artists. So I'll make sure that I post that once I get the um, actual location so that those people who want to try out their, 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 um, their skills in acting, you can definitely do that. So now, you know, church announcements, again, I'll be able to make sure that I post them in the group, um, but now it's time for one of my favorite select segments, which is called the Milwaukee Treasure. And the Milwaukee Treasure is, is just an opportunity that I'd like to take to shine light on amazing people doing amazing things in our city, because we know that on the news and just walking through your neighborhood, there's so many sad things, horrible things that we see and that we hear, it's like, you know, let let me be the balance. <laughs> let me show you the good uh, on the flip side. And so today we're going to be honoring Mr. Chad Welzick, who is in the studio with us right now. Chad, what's up? How you doing, man? Good morning, Iberia. Good morning, world. Milwaukee, what's happening? Yes. It's a pleasure to be here. Grateful. We are here. Grateful, grateful. And I was saying, Chad, um, and, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about who you are and what you do, but we go way back. Yes, we do. We way back. Prepaid legal. Before, before um, uh, legal shield was legal shield. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Prepaid legal. And honestly, it was a great opportunity for us to just kind of hone in our, our networking skills. You know, we, I, for me, I was definitely outside of the box. So I love the, I'm telling you, don't burn any bridges. You never okay. know when people are going to come back around. So Chad, I'm so glad to still see you here moving, grooving, doing your thing. So let's talk about who you are and what you do. I will, now I feel like I'm going to say it wrong. A Bacchus. Advocates. Advocates. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Advocates Architects. Talk about Advocates Architects. What you guys, because that's just one of the many things. So let's start there and we'll flow. All right. Well, first and foremost, just want to thank God for this opportunity to yes. be here. And just thank you, Iberia, for what you're doing in our city. Oh. And just uh, humbled to be here and just the guests before me, um, just to see what God is doing in this city. Yeah. Um, and, and we just know that... Uh, He's on the move in 2017. It's going to be incredible. So yeah. Happy New Year, first happy and foremost. New just Year. want to say that. And uh, God's richest blessings to all of you uh, listening. And uh, if you're on social media, please yes. let us know you're there. We yes. want to know you're out there. Um, but 
speaking to the, the question on point, um, Abacus Architects, I'm just grateful to be on a team yeah. uh, of 15 passionate individuals. Uh, we're out of Sheboygan and Milwaukee, mm -hmm. and uh, our, our brand and our mission is relational architecture. And what that I means to us is from a place of service, that our clients, the buildings that manifest out of uh, the design is from that relationship, that yeah. richness of a, a genuine and authentic relationship. We're not trying to force design mm -hmm. for design's sake. It's it's about how can that organization or business, yeah. church, school, you name it, how can we best serve you and your dreams and your vision to right. serve others? So we're really in a, a, a beautiful place and I feel that God has blessed me, not just in architecture and the field, on passion, on purpose, but with the right team, with the yeah. right culture, with yeah. the right philosophy. So very humbled that, uh, that God would place me on this team and uh, yeah. excited in, in, in Milwaukee specifically um, to really start activating yeah. some things. And I'll just leave it at activation Come in on 2017. For the activation. I love that. Oh, I received that for 2017. Activation, get activated. So talk about some of the places that, that you guys have, guys have supported and, and built and, and given back to. Absolutely. Some of you guys uh, might be familiar. I don't know how many fans of uh, Johnsonville sausage. Yes. Uh, those delicious brats. Uh, <laughs> but we are, uh, our team has been working hard on their global headquarters. So that's wow. one of our, our projects. So enjoy those. Uh, brats guys and, <laughs> and support this Wisconsin. Yes, coming up this summer, but anytime they're good. Uh, so that's just been a phenomenal project for myself being yeah. new to the team in the yeah. field after a, a seven year journey wow. to get into architecture of challenges. So to be on a team that is humbly, you know, serving a, a corporation right, that with is purpose, feeding. with purpose. And, uh, you know, it, it's just been fascinating to understand uh, the Johnsonville way and, and their servant hearts where they're they don't have employees, they have members. And wow. I think that really resonates as the, the culture and aligns Absolutely. with what we're speaking with uh, today and yeah. uh, what God is doing. Yeah, and you know, the other thing, you know, so thank you for what you do with, with, with that organization. But the other thing that I see and I know about you is that your feet are to the pavement. <laughs> you are out here. So talk about the different ministries that you're connected with and, and some of the, the leadership roles you have with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Well, first and foremost, just want to shout out to the, the local church, Epicos shout Northside, Epicos. Pastor uh, Kurt, <laughs> and, and uh, the rest of the, the team. Um, it's just been a, a tremendous blessing see, being a part of a, a church launch yeah. um, on the north side That's of huge. Sherman Boulevard That's and Barack huge. Obama High School. And uh, just to see the partnerships in the community, the neighbors, the students from the you know school, other folks that ha have left yeah. comfort in, in uh, you know other uh, locations on east side and west dallas and said hey we want to be a part of a, a community we want to get to yeah. know others we want to serve others we want right. to come alongside and just walk through life together and yeah. we believe in the city of milwaukee and just uh, as we're here on the show today that mm -hmm. god is doing amazing things he has been and that we each need to rise up and, and just to call on our life and i really believe and i know milwaukee mm -hmm. is an example for not just the nation but for the world of what god's wow. doing and I'm just, you know, in awe, in wonder yeah. of what he is doing, the people he puts in each one of our lives yeah. and the experiences and just know yeah. he's on purpose. And that's, it's so exactly. And it's so interesting that you said that it's, it kind of goes back to what Anita was saying earlier, that we have to understand that our purpose is bigger than us. Amen. You know, it's absolutely bigger than us. And we and, and a lot of times when we realize that we, we realize that there are other people we have to connect to yep. to bring that that vision to to, to pass. Now, you emailed me the other like I think it was last night with about some, what there was another organization. I didn't get to read through, it, but it's so many. So tell me about. What is it called? And Absolutely. I'm going to fill out my profile. <laughs> I was like, I got to get through this morning. Wow. So, yeah, something just a shout out to designedawareness.co. Okay. It's, yeah. a, it's a project, uh, a passion project that I'm working on. And uh, it really is to serve the, the, the communities in Milwaukee and Chicago and look at the intersection of architecture, urban development, yeah, uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, so it's really I was coming full circle of you know where faith and creativity and innovation meet. Mm. And uh, again, for me, my, my personal mission is really uh, you know serving others, genuinely connecting them, making a transformative difference in each other's lives. Yeah, yeah. And as a result, the built environment manifests. So it, it really oh, is yeah. the fruit. It is. Of it is that. So it's really always people first for me and. 
you know, I'm always growing in, in design and mm -hmm. the, the technical aspects of architecture, but truly believe it's about these genuine relationships and authentic is, experiences. And to, you know, echo some points earlier about being strategic, mm -hmm. being intentional, mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. relational. So again, on purpose with relational architecture at Abacus and to not, to be in a position where these things I can be involved in passionately and I can invest my time yeah. and share with the team. So with that being said, I wanted to just shout out to um, coming up the National Christian Foundation of Wisconsin is having an incredible event in, in January. You guys can check that out oh, yeah. online and, and that's bringing together the state of Milwaukee and saying some of the challenges in the city, how can we come together yeah. uh, with faith and vocation to uh, you know eliminate some of the challenges and provide yeah. practical solutions. So uh, the National Christian Foundation, uh, State of Milwaukee Symposium. Absolutely. So how can people stay connected to you just in case they forget, you know, what you said, you know, okay, I can follow him here. So tell us. I would say that the best way to connect, I, I want to hear personally uh, from you. Uh, connect with me uh, on Twitter at Chad Welzick, C-H-A-D-W-L-E-C-Z-Y-K. Yes. And uh, I want to meet with you. I want to grab coffee. I want to worship with you yeah. at my church in. He's dead if I'm serious, invited, go. I will. <laughs> and will. Uh, just, I want to hear about the, the great things, you know, you guys are doing. What are your prayers? What are your dreams? What are your passions? Let's, you know, let's walk in and journey together. And, and your dreams, let's make them reality to God the glory. <laughs> I love you, Chad. I'm so glad you could come <laughs> on. I'm a walking treasure. Oh, my God, child, Chad Welzick. We definitely got to have you back for, for something. We definitely will. So we're going to go to our next song by D. Rose, young D. Rose. Let's Shout go. Shout out to D. Rose. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one <laughs> second too before you go too. We're gonna get a, a quick picture. Oh, we have to. Man, well, thank you. This is a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Turn it up early here. This is my news. Oh, this one I got. This it is. It's called blessings. This is my news. Oh, wow. Nice. Take a list. I'll be jamming at work today. Right. Exactly. And then you know, I'll be <laughs> Actually, um, Anita. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean, Anita, can I interrupt you just for one second? I'm so sorry, too. Um, can you take a picture of us? And then, um. And then, we gotta get a picture of us. That's okay. I'm just gonna be Good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's good. Welcome to the city. To Long Beach. Yes. To Milwaukee. Around the world. All right. So you can move out now. All right. So I'm going to wrap up the rest of the show. Just be quiet. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, and then um, I need you back when you're ready. Yeah, I'll definitely make sure that you guys connect it. We want you to watch. Hey! Awesome. This is seven years. You remember my testimony in preface. Stopping Oreos and this practice. I do remember you. I'm telling you, that preface is legal. You know, people be shunning that network marketing, but if you've never done any business ever, it's a really great way to start. It is. It is. I agree with that. But then now I never want to do it ever. But no, it's different. You're established. But like if for people and you have you understand personal development, but for people who don't understand that and have never experienced that it really it really opens your mind to some other stuff, even more so than the actual product. How many more how long we got? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> 
Wow, I tell you, each and every Wednesday, the show just flies. It absolutely flies. I'm so excited to have all these amazing people in the studio with me today. And we are back. We are absolutely back with Anita. You thought that we forgot about you and, and helping you discover your purpose or destiny. Nope. We are right here and we have so much to give. So, Anita, we, we were talking earlier, you know, um, you know, about, you know, identifying your, your destiny, identifying your purpose and, and how to kind of walk it out. While you were just kind of sitting and taking in um, the, uh, the the show, was there anything else that kind of sparked in your mind that you were like, I got to say this to the people? Um, oh, that's a really good question. So, um, you know, just thinking through this process of, you know, knowing what you were you were created to do. And, you know, like I said, I think we instinctively know mm -hmm. and we're, we're drawn to it. It's a matter of paying attention yeah. to, to what that is and, and what's really speaking to our heart. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and it's about, like you said, paying attention to what to what that is. And, and it could be anything. And that's the, you know, this is something that I realize sometimes what you have to offer, it may not be the norm. Everybody has, everybody is not going to be a rapper. Everybody is not going to be an actress. And that's okay. I was just thinking about... <laughs> Honestly, the story of Kevin Clash, even though it ended tragically, because um, uh, he, the, I, I, I will never look at Elmo the same, unfortunately, after his story. <laughs> but how he came up, honestly, his purpose, he was making like sock puppets. And people would have thought, you something wrong with you. Right. But who knew that he would literally change the face of what children see, you know, as, you know, their, um, the things that they've, they've grown up with, you know, and have a line that created wealth you right. know so when you tap into your destiny no matter how outlandish it may seem you have no idea who you may touch hopefully don't it doesn't end like Kevin Clash help him help him Lord <laughs> oh my god it's just so bad it's so wrong in so many ways we're gonna bring it back but I'm just saying that it you can you can be outside of the box and you can definitely obtain something that may not be in the norm. So let's talk about what. what well, hold on, hold on. Let me add something yes. to that really quick. Exactly. So here's what's interesting is the what. So what God has called you to do. Yeah. He may call many people to do that what. Ooh, However, ooh, how you do it is uniquely you. Can't nobody do you the way that you do you. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. No matter how many people are doing it, they can't do it the way you do you. So you don't have to mimic nobody. Just be you. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. Um, you know, it's so interesting you said that uh, T.D. Jakes, um, I, don't, I don't know if he did a sermon about it, but he was. He talked about his whole premise. And as, as he kind of grew, and there's something else I want to go to too, as far as age. Because a lot of times we feel like once we reach a certain I'm age, old. I'm too old to do it or I'm too young to do it. But T.D. Jakes talked about, well, I, first of all, he, he started his ministry at 39. So know that. And I was like, ooh, thank you, Lord. Maybe maybe it's about to jump off. <laughs> I think I'm up on it. You know, so we can really, you got to also look at examples um, of, of people who have obtained things that maybe you haven't had an opportunity to. But anyway... Uh, T.D. Jakes was talking about, you know, how people made fun of his voice and how people made fun of um, the way he delivered a message. And he said he was overly dramatic. And he's extra. He's a whole lot of extra. And I love everybody, every piece of him. But he, he said that, he said, but when he realized that he was an original and when he realized that no one else could match what he did, he's like, that's when the things and the doors began to open. So uh, you can uh, expound a little bit on that. Or if you want to talk about um, not being limited by your age, your size, your color, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, there are no limitations. It's interesting because, you know, when I do my workshops, I do this exercise um, with the, the nine dots, and I'm asking yeah. you to connect the dots. Well, the only way that you can connect those dots without lifting a pen from the paper is you have to go outside the invisible box uh. that we create. The, the dots don't, it's not, there's no square there, but we automatically, instinctively create a square. So we put a box around those dots and people try to draw the lines within the box. You got to go outside the box, yeah. right? It's not, there are no boundaries. The only boundaries that exist in our lives are the boundaries that we set. We can go wow. as far out there as we want to go or not. It's totally up to God, up to us. And God is not pushing us either way. Sure, he's given us this amazing assignment to do something great, to do yeah. something impactful, yeah. but it's up to us to take action and do that mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. You were saying something earlier about faith. 
And I know you wanted to touch a little bit about faith. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so um, me and a couple of friends, we've been in this faith conversation for mm -hmm. 2017. And, you know, I had been uh, looking at some Dee Dee Freeman videos online. Yeah. And, and, and one of the videos she talked about, she said, don't tell me you got faith and can't nobody see it. Yes. Don't tell me you got faith and you ain't taking no Ooh. action. Because faith requires that you stepping out on what you can't see. Yeah. Right? You're stepping out on that thing as if it's real because it Come is on, water real walkers. for you. Water walkers. Right? Water walkers. I can't say it. Say that. Water walkers. If you could say it right, it could be good. But if not, you're saying water walkers. I love it. So inside of purpose, doing what God has called and created you to do, we've already established that it's bigger than you. Yeah. Like it's something that it's just bigger than you, period. And you can't do it without him, but you got to do it in faith. Yeah. You know, I am. Um, I quit my job on December 30th. Ooh, let's and talk about it. It's been a two year journey to quit this job, but I finally quit the job. And this is a faith walk, but I'm clear what he said to me. He said he got a plan for me. There's a plan for my life. So I'm standing on that thing. And I'm just believing that everything is covered. Like there is nothing, there is no anxiety. There is nothing over wow. me wow. stepping out here doing this thing full time. Yeah. I'm like, God, I can't continue to work a full time job and try to do what you've called me to yeah. do. I got to pick one. And if yeah. I pick this one, you got to be there. You got to support. You, you got to yes. provide provision. You got to stand thing. on the word for that. Absolutely. He wants you to, he wants you to challenge him at his word. You know, Absolutely. take, take him at his word. I think it's Pastor Steve to always say, what do you, what, what are you going to, choose you can choose to call him faithful so you're gonna choose to call him faithful then let it let him be what he is and what he you know what he what he said and let him do what he said man that faith thing is really stirring me up and i know it's blessing somebody because um man i i get it you know what i mean like every every day i i am literally when i was saying water walker even though i can't say it right <laughs> i'm telling you every every day i walk by faith this show is on air by faith. Every every connection, every every piece of food I put in my, my mouth is by faith. It's insane. But that's what what is it? It's impossible. Well, without faith, it's, it's impossible to please God. Yep, absolutely. So let's talk about the opposite of that and how to get over it. And then we we'll, we definitely want to uh, make sure people know how they can get in, in uh, contact with you. And the opposite is fear. It is. So how do we deal with fear? How do we begin to walk in our purpose for 2017 when when all odds? Are against us. Yep. So fear is the purpose stopper. Ooh, yeah. It is. Um, fear is that thing that comes, and we all experience fear, right? So it's a natural occurrence, and it's designed to protect us. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's designed mm. to protect us. But I like to say, be scared and do it anyway. Yeah. Be shaking in your boots. Keep on moving. Anyway. Keep on walking. There's this um, this guy named Michael Hyatt, and he says that fear is his body's way of preparing him for max performance. Yeah, like, I love that. Every time I get get a mic and get ready to get on stage, and there's some it's a stuff in me, yeah. I'm like, okay, this is my body's way of telling me I'm getting See? ready for a max performance. Let's go. <laughs> Change your perspective. Oh my God, Anita! Like we 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 could have been tapping on on fear forever. Oh my God, but. Tell the people how they can connect with you. We, we're going to have to maybe pick up this conversation live later. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I'll have to bring you on my podcast. Please we do. do we can talk a whole hour. I'm with it. I'm good. with it. So yeah. you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and on LinkedIn at AC Clinton number one, the number one, AC Clinton number one. My website is AnitaClinton.com. There's BeGreatMinistries.com. And then my new one is RepurposeMyContent.com. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> See, I'm excited. You can talk about my website. I'm excited about your repurpose. Yes, I love my girl, Anita. Oh, my God. We got to have her back, right, guys? We absolutely have to have her back. So right now, we're going to go to one more song before we come back with your kingdom solution. Let's go, Dave. I love it. <sighs> that faith oh, thing. That faith and fear. We could have stayed on faith and fear the whole yeah, time. Much. We could talk about it on my podcast. Yes. For real. Like, seriously. Like, <laughs> right, I'm getting you to you like, continue. Like, to be continued. To be you. That's Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody, don't it fly, Sherry? Oh my God, everybody! Yay! Y'all doing it? I have no idea what that was, y'all. I don't, I don't know what that was. All right. See, this is why I can't have a camera because I'm always. Okay. What time is it now, please? Cool. Oh, we're right on time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really, we're, we're tight with time today. That's great. Right. Yeah. 
Man, Chad, I really did not know about, um, give me a second, Abacus. I really didn't know all the stuff that you guys were doing with that. I knew you did some other stuff, but that's awesome. That's so awesome. Oh, <laughs> neither did you. Hi, Jordan. Pastor Skip, you just missed Anita. Pastor Skip just joined. Um, yeah. Um, Daytona just said, what's up, Pastor Skip? Daytona Road. Just a little bit more to go, guys, and we'll be gone. Jordan, I wish you was here. Right back with your Um, uh, Nita, uh, Pastor Skip just joined. I just told him, I'm like, you just missed her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm doing the Kingdom Solution, I am going to um, sit over here so you guys can feel it. Can y'all hear the music? That's, that's Young D. Rhodes. What's up, what's up, what's up, Milwaukee? And we are back. Oh my God, this has been an amazing, an amazing show. And so now we have the opportunity to do what, what we do best and to, you know, stick with the premise of the show, which is Kingdom Solutions for Real World Issue. And your Kingdom Solution today, we always go to the Word of God. And in the scripture of choice, even though this is a very common scripture, but we, hey, Manny, <laughs> but we absolutely have to keep this in our heart. We have to take these scriptures and put it in our heart so that when um, adversity rises up, we have something to pull from. So Jeremiah 29 11 says, um, and this is a different version, it's not the King James, it says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for calamity to give you a future and a hope. Let that resonate with you. And then also Proverbs, in Proverbs it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So if you're lost and you have like, I'm like, you're like, God, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know which way to go. I don't know who I am. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding because some things are not going to be revealed to you in the flesh. Some things are only going to be revealed to you in the spirit. So I, I challenge each of you today to get a relationship with God. Um, if you don't have a relationship with God, you will never know who you are. He is the creator. He is the manufacturer of who you are. And if you don't go back, you, don't, you won't know how you operate. You won't understand how you work. And you won't make sense to anybody else. But when you go back to the maker, I declare you'll have direction. So you guys know that I love you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you to each of my guests. Anita Clinton of Be Great Ministry. So proud of my sister for taking the leap. Daytona Rhodes, D.H. Young D., you already know. Chad Welzick of Abacus Architects. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Abacus? Abacus. I'm going to get it right. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Shout out to Power for Media. Uh, Shakes, I miss you. And you're coming back, whether you like it or not. C.E., Mima's Kitchen, Pastor P's. I always shout out Mima's Kitchen because that's my mama. And she be cooking cakes. <laughs> and so if you guys want your cakes, make sure that you uh, reach out to her at 414-418-0616. I love each and every one of you. Taz, I got your message this morning. I'm coming to get this head done because I'm trying to wear this hat. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking real funny right now, <laughs> but be sure to follow me on social media. Stay connected to all things saved, saved and the city. And until next week, be encouraged. I love you so much. It's going to be all right. Let me know when you find that purpose and that destiny. Love you so much. See you next week. Awesome show, Brandy. Incredible.